everyone, welcome back to Xcoding with Alfian. In this video, we're going to build a Live Pulse Fusion OS based application. So this is a continuation of the previous video tutorial uh, where we have successfully built the iOS application using Firestore real-time database where we can basically create a Live Pool with multiple options and it will basically display the data in real-time to all users. It supports live activity as well, okay? So now we are going to continue and we are going to build that using the Vision OS application. And in this Vision OS application, we're going to experiment with multiple window support, okay? So let me show you the demo of the application that we are going to build. So here we have the grid list containing all the pools. Looks nice, right? And Basically, any update will be shown in real time as well. As you can see here, I'm just voting for TikTok multiple times and the chart got updated in real time. Amazing, right? And basically, we can also see the options window when we tap this toolbar button. Boom, it will open that in a separate window. And here, we can join an existing pool or create a new pool, maybe some pool A, B, C, okay. So when I submit this, it will be shown here, the first one. As you can see, nice, right? So we can tap on this and it will open this pool, pool view where we can pull as well in real time. So when I add this, it will be shown in real time to iPhone, all other devices as well, right? Nice, if you see, this is the application that we are going to build. So it supports three types of window. And as you can see, pull options, pull view, where the user can pull, and the main window that shows the all the pulls updates in real time. So this is very, very amazing. And let's see on how we can build this multiple uh, this Fusion OS app with multiple window support okay and before you start first make sure you open the github project for this Fusion OS application and make sure you open the github repository for this starter project okay I provided the link in the description and just don't okay and Next one, there's one requirement that you will also need to have, which is to use Xcode beta, Xcode 15 beta 2 as of now, because currently Xcode beta 3 and 4 is broken when we try to use observable framework on the Vision OS. But I don't, I think it will be fixed in beta 5. So for now, let's just use beta 3, uh, beta 2. If you have downloaded the starter project, Open terminal and navigate to the iOS project directory. You should see this live pulse.xcode project, which you can open in Xcode. So actually we need to do something before we can add Firebase SDK, especially Firebase Firestore to the Vision OS target. So if you see in this Firebase Apple SDK relates notes. So as of today, July 16, so this is the latest SDK, 10.12.0, uh, released in 11 July. So as of uh, today, 16 July, you, this is the latest SDK. And basically to use Cloud Firestore, right? Developer using Firestore on VisionS must use a source Firestore distribution, okay? Rather than the default banner distribution. So it will fail to build if we try to just open uh, Xcode without this is this flag. So now we just need to copy this. Okay, open env Firebase Store Firestore, copy this, and then paste this to the project directory, and then just open the pass the Xcode project path. Okay, and then press enter. It should open the project and use the source Firestore distribution rather than the default binary distribution, okay? So I have already opened the project using that flag. And as you can see in here, this is the starter project. So the first thing that 
we need to do in here okay so click this live pulse and select package dependencies and make sure to update this 10.11.0 and use the latest one 10.12 this should provide the initial firestore support for the vision os by passing this flag when opening the xcode project okay enter and then it will just try to resolve the package graph basically uh, download the latest one from the package dependencies so you might need to wait so this is the error that you will encounter if you just try to build it without using that particular flag when opening xcode and you also need to upgrade this to 10.12.0 okay so now we can just simply create a new target in here select vision os select app and give it the product name that you want i'm going to give it the name of live pulse vision okay so this is my bundle id which i'm going to use to register in firebase so initial scene will be window and immersive space will be none click finish okay so next select this target select general scroll down and inside this framework libraries and embedded content scroll down and select firebase firestore and firebase firestore stiff so these two and add this and now let's try first select the live pool vision from the scheme drop down okay it should select the apple vision pro simulator and press command b to try to build okay i think this should be okay it's building now so just wait until that is finished the build succeeded now we can use firebase firestore inside the vision os application and next thing that we are going to do scroll down select the sign in capabilities tab copy this bundle identifier and navigate to your project so this is the project that i've created in the previous video so we already have the ios app so you need to create a new app and basically select ios apple platform and just paste your bundle id so i've already added mine and then you will just download the google service info the p list so this is the one for me google service info that pills i'm going to download it to my machine okay i've downloaded it to my machine now expand this live pulse vision folder and drag the google service info pills to this folder okay and make sure in here you only select live pulse vision target don't select other targets and click finish Okay, so we have added this Google service info to which we can use to configure the Firebase app when the app start. Next thing is, let's select this and then create a new folder at the root. Give it a name of share. We're going to share some files between multiple targets. And create views folder. And expand the live pulse iOS folder. And for the models, we are just going to use the same model for the option and pool. So drag this to here. And for the views, we are just going to use the pool chart view to share across targets. Okay. Now select these three files, option, pool, and pool chart view. And open this identity expector. And for the target membership, make sure to check live pools vision. Okay, so this will add these three source files to live portion target as well. Okay, so that is done. We already shared the models and views, pull chart view. So next thing is just to copy the logic to initialize the Firebase configuration when the app starts. So navigate to the live pulse app. So this is the entry point for the iOS target. So just select all of this. Okay, we're just going to copy and paste inside the Live Pulse Vision app. Okay. And also the code to 
use this UI application delegate adapter in here. Okay, now we connect the Swift UI app with the add delegate. So this will be invoked when the app launch, which will initialize configure Firebase using the Google Service Info playlist, initialize a Firestore, and here it's going to use the Firebase local emulator suite to connect to the local Firestore database. Okay, now let's navigate back to the terminal and I'm going to open the Firebase folder containing the functions emulator, containing the functions folder for the Firebase functions. So this contains all the Firebase.json, Firestore.rules. In here, I'm going to start the local emulator using Firebase emulator start. Okay, so this will start the local emulator, which will use to play around with the Firestore database locally. Okay, and then just open the emulator UI here, open link. And the first thing that we are going to do is let's create a simple stop, just a stop that will help us later when we create the view on Fusion OS. So open the iOS application in here. Make sure you have started the local emulator and then create a new pool. So let's say best social media app. So let's just an example, Twitter, uh, threads, Reddit, and I don't know, uh, what else, TikTok, adoption. And then let's submit this. Okay, it creates the application and as you can see, it is shown also as well in the local emulator suite dashboard. So let's just vote Twitter, Threads, Reddit, TikTok. Okay, so we already have the stock data as well as the local emulator suite running. So now we can focus back to the Fusion OS app. One thing that you need to one thing to consider is basically when I try to use live preview on the Vision OS with the Firestore integration, it just crashed the preview. So we need to use the real Vision Pro simulator to test the app and see the view. Okay, we won't be able to use preview with the Firestore. Let's begin creating the first view for the live poll Vision. So inside the live position folder, create a new folder, give it a name of views, and in here, create a new Swift UI view, give it a name of pool list view, okay? Make sure only live pool position target is selected, and then create. And for this, we are just going to disable the free preview as preview is not working nicely with the Firestore for now. Okay. And next, create another folder in the live poll vision. Give it a name of observables. Okay. Expand this and create a new Swift file. And Give the name of pools view mo pools vm i think it's enough pools vm okay create this and the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to borrow some logic from the home vm in here so basically in the pools list view we just going to display the latest 15 uh pools from faster in real time so we're going to listen for a change and we have the logic inside this home view model on the iOS target. So first, we need to just copy from the observable to this import in here. And then select pulse span, replace this, okay. And then here, just declare a new class, give it the name of pulse view model. Okay. And now, select this again we will need the fire store support it in the class and 
we also need the the poles yeah the poles array that is going to be used in the ui and we only need this one method which is the listen to live poles so copy this and put this inside the poles pm okay so actually the name should be pull list view model i think it's better suited pull list view model okay so let's also rename this to put pull list vm okay pull list view model we already have this tool first one is the let to the first store and then second one is the pulse and then we have the method to listen to live pulse which will be used in the view later and in here we want to listen to 20 limit to last 20 okay so on ios we listen to last 10 but on vision OS we listen to last 20. now let's make sure to build and let's see make sure there's no error okay the build succeeded nice next let's navigate to the live pulse vision app and in here we can simply remove this content view and declare a navigation stack and then inside the navigation stack we will make the pulse list vm as pulse list view what's the name pulse list view as the entry point of the application okay so in here let me just rename this to pull instead of using plural for better consistency okay pull this view okay now we have the pull this view as the entry point of our application the initial window for our vision os app so let's navigate to this folder okay now in here let's implement the body so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to declare a far vm and then initialize pull list view model okay and next one is as we are going to represent our pulls inside a grid we are going to use lazy v grid which required the grid items okay let's declare a private let grid items it's going to be an array of grid item okay and then just initialize it with init we're going to use the adaptive one with the minimum of 300 and we're not going to specify the maximum and then after that we are going to add a spacing of 16 between them okay so basically the grid item will be adaptive with the minimum of 300 if it's not going to uh, fit the, in the same row it will just drop to the next row okay now let's begin inside the body in here let's declare a scroll view to make it scrollable and then inside the scroll view let's declare a lazy figure and then for the columns let's just pass the grid items contents uh, let and then in the content in here i want to just do some closure trailing syntax closure in here and then for the lazy fig grid let's up add a fading vertical with the default size and the padding horizontal i want to set the edges to 30 for all the horizontal edges okay and then inside the scroll view let's declare a for each in here and then we are going to assign the pulse array from the view model pull list view model and then in here let's name the parameter pull let's declare a button so we're going to make each of the view tapable so later we are going to open another window where the user can vote for the particular selected uh, pull okay let's use the button action label in here so the action closure will implement that letter and for the button let's set the 
button style to borderless and set the button borders shape to rounded rectangle actually rounded rectangle with the radius of 20 okay and then inside the label we're just going to declare a v step with the alignment of top and then in here just declare a text pull dot name and then after the text let's declare a spacer and then declare a image with the system name of chart dot bar dot x axis and pass as text contain string of pool dot total count okay and then after that just check if let updated at pool dot updated at i think that's property is optional so if it's not nil set the image with the system name of clock fill and then text updated at with the style of time okay so we're going to get the latest time this particular foot got updated oh sorry this is not fish tag this should be edge tag okay then this edge tag will be inside a fish tag okay so let's move it okay so this is the correct one fish tag at the root then edge tag okay then after that in the fish tag after the edge tag, we're going to declare a pool chart view, passing pool dot options, and pass the frame. We're going to hard code the height to 160. Use a fixed size, fixed height, and then let's set the padding for this edge tag with the vertical of 30. Okay, so far so good, but we cannot see in the preview. We need to complete this first before we start it on the simulator. Otherwise, it will take too much time. Okay. I will try to provide a preview, a screenshot when I edit this video. Okay, and let's provide navigation title. Pass it any title that you want. I'm just going to give it a name of XCA Life Pulse Vision. And then let's declare an on APR modifier. And in here we can just invoke view model listen to Life Pulse. Okay, now we should be able to test this. So make sure you have already made this as the entry point inside the Live Pulse Vision app and then select Apple Vision Pro Live Pulse Vision Scheme and then Command R to build and run in the simulator okay so the build succeeded I don't know why this is got shown because I'm not building for the widget extension maybe some issue from Xcode now let me drag the Vision Pro simulator and then let's just reset it to full screen okay the app starts and nice so we are able to see this stuff the social media app in the live pulse vision and when we hover it as we are declaring this uh, as a button it should be able to show this right this like particular rounded shape so it means that this area is tappable we'll provide the action closure later and now let's create another pool i think Dash desktop OS Windows Mac OS add option submit. So we're going to see how this represented inside the grid, right? And then next one dash mobile OS Android iOS submit this pull and next one is best uh no gaming laptop rog legend adoption submit this and let's just port and let's see in the simulator nice if you see right we have four pools and the three pools is represented in the first row and the last pool is represented in the second row because it doesn't fit anymore in here right and we are using the grid item adaptive amazing okay so we have implemented the pool list view successfully
Okay, so now let's implement the pool option window. So we're going to basically display the pool option containing the ability, containing the view where the user can join existing pool options by providing their pool ID. And also they can create a new option and with multiple options, okay? We're going to display it in a new window. And along the way, we're going to learn on how to open multiple window in a Vision OS application. Okay, so let's go back to, so actually I'm going to put this Xcode window here, okay? Beside the simulator. Now, let's just stop the simulator, okay? So it doesn't eat too much memory, okay? It is stop. And inside this Live Pulse Vision Fuse, Declare a new CFUI view given the name of pull option view. Okay, just comment the preview to avoid any issue. And inside the observable folder, create a new C file. Give it a name of pull option VM. Okay. And also to help us on maintaining the state of which window are currently open and to pass the state along the window, uh, we're going to declare another VM for this, okay? So declare a new C file again inside the observables and give it a name of navigation view model, okay? Create. And inside this navigation view model, import observation, declare the observable macro, create a new class, give name of navigation view model. And then for the first property, we're going to have a boolean is showing pool option. Okay, with a default value of false. Next, let's navigate to the live pulse vision app. And then in here, we're going to declare a private var nav vm and then initialize it with the navigation view model and then so in a vision os application when you first launch the app there can only be one window group okay as far as i know right with the, the api and all the apple vision OS sample app so to open another window right we need to basically declare a different window group in here and need to pass the id okay and for id we're going to need to provide a different id okay for each of the window group and basically for here i'm going to just pass pull option okay for the id and then inside this window group when i'm going to just declare a navigation stack and then declare the pull option view I'm going to pass the environment passing the nav VM. I'm going to also do it in the pull list, pull list view, okay? So let's navigate to the pull list view. And here below the view model, declare an environment property wrapper. And for the key path, so to open a window, we need a special Keep key path which is open window okay so this is a win on window presentation action stored in a fuse environment right? okay so we will invoke this passing the id of the window group that we want to open okay so let's make just private far open window for the name and the second one is the environment for our navigation view model that we have injected okay dot self and make this private var just give a name of nav vm and now we need to add toolbar in here so above navigation title just declare a toolbar which we're going to also declare a toolbar item placement so let's just use automatic placement and then declare a button with the action label and for the label just 
bigger uh, tax pool option okay or maybe only option options is better enough and then we're going to disable this button okay if the navm dot is showing pull option is true okay because if we don't do it and the user click on the window it will invoke this open window okay we're going to invoke the open window passing the id pull option okay make sure this is same with this okay so if you don't add this disable if it is already open and the user tap this again it will open multiple window of the pull option which we don't want okay we only want we only want one pull option window when the app runs we don't want multiple okay otherwise it will confuse the user in here also let's set the navm is showing pull option to true okay so when this is true the pull option is shown user won't be able to tap this it will be grayed out now let's try command r okay there we have this toolbar button tap this nice so it opens this window but actually if you see the size is too big so actually on the vision os right there is no way to provide a fixed size to our default window style but there is another type of window that we can use where we can provide the size and depth that we want okay so let's navigate to the live pools vision application and to do that we just need to add the window style and pass follow metric okay so with the follow metric window style we can provide the default size and i'm going to use this for the width and for the in the unit length i'm going to use matter okay and i want the width to be 0 0.4 matter and the height will be 0 0.6 for depth i don't want to add any depth i want just this to be flat so i just pass zero okay so with the follow metric we pass the size in here and the user won't be able to resize the window so let's see okay we'll succeed it Teaching, tap options nice as you can see right we have this window with the size and we can just put it there on the left side and nice right so this is the pull option window so the size is fixed and the depth is zero because we are not going to show any 3d content in here nice right now let's move on and implement the pull option view model so the user can join existing pool and also create a new pool with multiple options now navigate to the pool options vm and in here we are going to again copy and paste some of the logic from the ios target so now i'm going to open the home view model let's swift side by side okay i'm going to simply copy all the imports and declare observable class pull option view model let's copy the firestore the db we're going to need it to create the uh, pull and select from this existing pool id all of this until before the listen live pulls copy paste in here and and then select this create new pool add options join existing pool all of this and then paste this in the pool option view model and remove the modal pool id okay as we are not going to show a model sheet view in the vision os application okay that's it for the pool option view model 
Now let's navigate to the pool option view. So in here, first let's declare an environment. So we also want to have this open window. Okay, environment. Give it a name of private far open window. Which we are going to use this letter when we add the join existing pool. So after the user tap on submit on the pool ID that he had pasted or type, we're going to basically open the window for the pool view for the pool view where the user can vote. Okay, so that's why we need this. Next one is the environment. Here we're going to pass the navigation view model dot self and give give it the name of navvm. Okay, we can also make this private as well for consistency. And next one, I want to declare the bindable for the VM, which is the pool option view model. We're going to bind several properties to the text field, right? And then in the body, let's declare a list and let's declare a navigation title, pool options, and then on disappear don't forget this one on disappear we need to update the state right on the nav vm is showing pull option we need to set this to false okay we need to maintain the state so the pull so the toolbar button containing the pull options can be shown again it's not going to be disabled okay so now let's implement the list for the list, we are going to also copy and paste several function from the iOS again, home view. So I'm going to open this side by side. First one is this existing pool section. I'm just going to copy this. Okay, I think nothing's changed from here. And in here, I want to simply declare the existing pool section I think for a join for now let's just uh, delete the implementation because we are going to implement that a bit later after we implement the pool view but the user can vote okay so existing pool section and then we don't need the live pools we need this to add pool section and this get pool section Copy this to far and then declare it as well in here. Create pools section and add options section. And one thing, this extension string, we want to share this between all the star, uh, targets rather than redeclaring it. So inside this shared folder, create a new Swift file, give it a name of extension, select live pools and live pool vision create it and then insert here so just cut this extension string from the home view in iOS and then put it inside here okay so while on this I also want to make the string confirm to error and localized error and just implement this record description compute property do it itself okay okay so far looks good now let's close this home view and let's try to build and run this okay i think it runs without error i don't know why this keeps on being shown in here okay. so it runs the app now we can try this let me reset the window in here okay and then in here click options nice so we have this pull options now what we want to do is so we haven't implemented this join a pull in here we'll do it later so let's try this create a pull so what best smartphone and iphone so Hmm, 
this button looks a bit weird let's fix that later okay adoption and what pixel submit this it should create the new poll and shown in here here at the first one submit nice so we have this best smartphone right if you see in here containing iphone and pixel amazing okay so we have implemented the pull option so and if you see in here right the button to present this is grayed out and when we close this window by tapping on this x button here it will be shown again and then we can tap that to show the pull option window to the user again nice right so using that state management in the navigation view model prevent the user to open multiple windows for the pull options okay we only want this pull option window to be shown only one inside the application okay so that's why we have that state amazing right now i want to update these buttons because currently it's a bit weird right this blue button so make let's make it a bit uh, native to the vision os ui okay so in the existing pool section let's take a look here so currently it's just having this button right so i think first thing that we need to do is we need to set the button style to border prominent okay and inside here i also forget we need to also have the disable vm is join pull button disable it's missing that and next one is we will be using a different initializer for this action label okay and for the label we're going to use h tag and put a spacer between a text and then declare the text join so let's see how this now using this before we update the options and submit pool build and run okay build succeeded click this of this expand ah this looks a bit better right it's bigger and it's much more visible to the eyes okay compared to that blue color button previously okay so let's update this as well for the other this one as well submit pull let's add the button style to border prominent and then use the action label declare it x tag text submit declare spacer spacer and the last one is this add options same button style bordered prominent just copy this string and then use this label h tag text paste the string remove the extra parenthesis the cross spacer between the text let's see Okay. click options and okay looks good now create a pool best gaming mouse logitech pro x nice 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 this looks better compared to the previous button razor yeah. adder submit nice looks good now we need to we have successfully add the pull options view and finally we just need to implement the pull view where the user can vote for the options so when the user tap on this it will open that particular pull containing the options where the user can vote 
Okay. Let's do it. In the observables folder, in the live pulse vision, create a new Swift file and give it a name of pull vm and in here make sure to uncheck live pulse and only select the live pulse vision right okay pull vm create and in the fuse folder create a new safe ui view give it a name of pull view make sure only live pulse vision is checked and just remove the preview for now and let's go to the navigation view model to add some of the state for this pull uh, window that we're going to add. So the color of far is showing pull pulse. And we also need to pass the selected pull ID okay, to identify with pull which are currently selecting from the grid list. So let's just assign it with the uh, the false string of empty okay now let's navigate to the live pulse vision app to declare the third window group so below the pull option window group declare another window group okay and for the id just pass pull and set the declare navigation stack and declare the pull view and also inject the environment passing the navvm as well to the pool view and let's copy this window style in the vault size modifiers and let's make the height for this to be 0 0.7 okay for width i think it's okay 0 0.4 you can customize this to what you are liking okay i'm just going to use this values for now now let's navigate to the pool vm and in here i'm going to open pool vm from the live pools i use target side by side and in here i'm going to copy this don't import don't copy import activity kit as it it is not supported in the vision os and the current observable class pool view model and basically in here copy this okay don't copy the activity copy the initializer and yeah i think you can copy this listen to pull and also increment option and we don't need the start activity kit because we don't have any lag activity on the vision os one thing that i want to add is basically i want to add a variable to store the listener registration returned by the faster db so we are going to detach that in case the window is closed by the user okay we don't want to listen to the change in case the user closed the window for this pull view so to do that just declare a far in here listener token and set the type as listener registration represent a listener that can be removed by calling remove so this is provide the firebase first start set the default value as nil and then at the bottom just declare a func remove listener simply just invoke listener token remove and just set the listener token to nil and next one i want to make this pool id to far okay because i'm going to make this updatable whenever the pool id from the navigation view model got updated so in here i'm just going to set the pool id with the empty string and now we need to modify listen to pool so in here let's first set the pool to nil in here and then remove listener the current listener and we also need to check if the pool id pool id only in case that is not empty we are going to continue else we're just going to return 
okay so that, that is the logic for the listen to pull and the next one just the current method update pull and then with the parameter of string here we just set the pull id with the new id and we need to do kick off a task in here and then invoke a wave self listen to pull and that it will release release again passing the new pull id okay i think this is all for the pull view model now let's make sure to build just close the one on the ios one and let's see okay the build succeeded nice now we can focus to implement the pull view okay so for the pull view first i'm going to declare several part first one obviously will be the view model it's going to be pull view model okay and then environment which is the navigation view model dot self let's make this private for nav vm okay and as you can see pull id we're missing that argument so let's make this pull id add a default value of empty string okay to remove that error and next one we want to copy some of the logic from the ios pull view so select this one i pulls open it side by side just close the preview i'm going to copy and paste starting from this navigation title i don't want to copy the owner up here so select everything in here the list and then replace the body in the pull view from last provision okay i think looks good and next one we need to apply our own logic for the vision os application first one let's add a on appear okay in the on appear i'm just want to invoke vm update pull in this case i'm going to pass the id from the nav vm dot selected pull id okay and next one i also want to add a on disappear so on the disappear i'm going to basically invoke view model remove listener to detach the virus store listener let's also set the nav vm dot is showing pull option to false okay and then after that let's add the final one on change of so on change of navm dot selected pull id in this case we only need the new value and invoke vm dot update pull passing the new value as the id okay so whenever the value in this selected pull id got updated it's going to invoke this and attach a new listener to listen to that particular new pull id that we have selected okay i think this looks good we can close this uh, pull view from the ios target now we need to add the button handler to the pull list view the grid okay so this is still empty so in here we can simply set the nav vm selected pull id with the pull dot id okay and then we need to add a guard guard not navm dot ish showing pull option okay only in case it is false we're going to continue if this true we want and then in this case let's set the navm ish showing pull option to true and invoke open window passing the id of pull make sure this id is same as the one that we are declaring in here okay that is pull and this is pull okay looks good and the next one we also want to present this pull view when the user uh, type the existing pull id in the pull option view or paste that so in this pull option view the join 
existing pool we need to add the handler in here so we need to have some modification in the create join existing pool in here so basically in here we want to make this drawing okay so let's update this to async throws and then in here we simply want to move this card let existing pool okay we won't be using try optional just remove the optional and then in here we're going to just check guard as simple that exist and in here we're not going to set the error we just going to throw throw that okay and just remove the return now we can update the logic in the pull option view button so in the button now let's just kick off a task main actor in and then in here let's declare do try catch in the error just set the vm dot error to error dot localized description and in the do you can invoke try await vm join existing pool so this is not drawing and then we can simply just using the previous logic if the set the nav vm selected pool id to uh, vm dot existing pool id and we also need to add guard if the navvm is showing pull option is false in that case we are going to continue okay and then return if not if that is already true and then set the navvm is showing pull option to throw and invoke open window pricing id of pull okay now let's try all of this by building and run the simulator okay build succeeded okay now let's try first let's tap on this best gaming mouse nice it shows the pull view ah that button i have an update for the options it's using still using the blue button so let's just try to vote now it should update this as well nice wow this is amazing right wow okay so when we tap the other one it should not open two windows it should update this okay nice that smartphone it's going to update and listen to the new uh and listen to the pull id from the best smartphone wow <laughs> this is very very cool right so amazing okay now i want to check the join existing pool i'm going to select this and copy and then close and then for the options in here i will join a pool i'm going to paste this join it's not working let's see why okay so i think one thing the alert sheet is not shown right in the pull option view so instead of that let's just put the error in the if let error pm dot error so for now i think alert sheet is not show, supported on the vision os so let's just put this error dot error i think error is already stream and they set the foreground stripe to color dot red and also in the pool option vm i'm going to reset this to new and create new pool and in the join existing pool everything looks good but it doesn't really work so let's see so this is the join right it's going to set the selected pool id with the vm existing pool id check this so let's put a breakpoint in here and let's see build again okay select this and then copy the pool id and i'm just going to close options and join a pool paste 
okay join okay let's step through ah because of this i think something is not being updated properly so guard if not vm showing pull option is not false means that is true so let's navigate to the pull view so i think we already had this on disappear right oh sorry this one should not be a showing pull option this one should be a showing pull okay a showing pull and also this one is incorrect this is also going to be a showing pull and this is going to be a showing pull okay and let's make sure in the pull this view okay this also is showing pull this also is showing pull sorry for my mistake i forgot it should be showing pull that's the window that we want to check right when tapping on the grid as well as joining the existing pool so let's try again let's try again so it's easy to make mistake right when we are doing recording this because we are not perfect right so like this copy close click options and join a pool just paste join nice now it works right now we can just provide the assistant pool id click and then it will open this window this is amazing this is very very amazing so everything works as expected right everything looks good i think this button we can update this we can make it better right that blue button is very very I cannot see it clearly with my eyes okay so let's navigate to the pull option view sorry pull view and then in here in here we can simply add the button style to border prominent okay let's build okay let's tap this put this here put this here let's fold nice looks good looks good the button looks very good here here wow this is amazing real time update okay one thing one thing okay let's see so this is the ios application so i'm going to update that from the ios application and let's see wow this is amazing works real time right iOS application Vision OS using faster real time we can pull five pull okay within application wow this is amazing and that's it I think for this video we have successfully built the live pool Vision OS app where then the user can create a pool and join existing pool as well provide multiple option in a pool and then open the open that in the multiple window pull vote for each of the option in here and then it will be updated in real time inside this main window okay i think that's all for this tutorial video we have successfully built the vision os live pulse app using firestore that is very very amazing right and like the video if you like subscribe if you haven't and until the next video let's keep on being a life learner and goodbye